Good morning, cadre. Good morning, fellow classmates. I'm Cadet Lewis, and I'll be briefing you on why I joined Air Force ROTC. The three points I'll be going over is my childhood, how I got here, and how my why has changed as I've been in Air Force ROTC. So, as a little kid, I've always dreamed of being in the military. I've always wanted to serve my country because that's what my dad did. My dad was in the Navy. I never knew which military branch I wanted to be in, but that did not stop me. As I grew up, I transitioned and applied for the military academies. Through this process, I did get rejected from the Naval Academy, the Air Force Academy, and West Point. But through this opportunity of being rejected, I was presented these opportunities through Air Force ROTC scholarships and Navy ROTC scholarships and Army ROTC scholarships. Through this process, it took me a while to figure out which branch I wanted to join. Nevertheless, I chose the Air Force ROTC scholarship. Because of this, I knew that I was going to be taken care of, I could learn more about how to fly planes, and I knew that I would have a tight-knit family as I grew and grew through my leadership. Because of going to Liberty in this detachment, I knew that I was going to build to become the best leader that I could possibly become. Through this, my why of joining Air Force RTC has changed some. Not the serving country, but it has changed how I perceive leaders and how I perceive wingmanship. This why has built because I want to become a better leader continuously on and on throughout my career in the Air Force. But I've also learned that my wingmanship needs to grow more and more and more. Because of this, I realized that this wingmanship will help me serve my country the, to the best of my ability. And knowing that I will become a better leader through this program, I know that I want to bring all of these um, from my childhood until now and for most for going forward i want to bring all of these opportunities that i've learned and knowledge that i've learned into active duty now i've gone over why i joined the air force from my childhood through the years as i grew up and how that why has changed now this concludes my briefing are there any questions